Hello, and welcome to the Bell Hops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bell Hop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. I am here tonight in my game room, welcome to my game room, with my lovely wife, Deanna. We are about to sit down and play some Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, the new entryway, gateway, stopping, stepping stone to the full game of Gloomhaven. This is a much simplified version of Gloomhaven, much shorter, only 25 scenarios, with a solid intro of five scenarios. At this point, Deanna and I have played through scenarios one to five, so starting now, spoiler warning. If you don't want to know what happens after the introduction, I felt this, the introduction to me wasn't a spoiler, so we didn't put spoiler warning tags on the other stuff, really. There was a couple things that gave away, but once you get to this point, we're going to have new stuff. So, spoiler warning, if you haven't seen episodes 1 through 5 or played through them yourself, you may want to stop this now, go catch those, play that yourself, watch our videos on YouTube, youtube.com slash tabletopbellhop, and then come back and watch the rest of this. So that said, we are about to do scenario 6, the first non-tutorial scenario. At this point, the training wheels are off. Um, we are using the full rules now. Now note these rules are somewhat different from the original Gloomhaven and for a list of that, if you head to tabletopbellhop.com and click on reviews you can find there, use the search bar in the top, uh, on the right hand side and search for Gloomhaven, you'll find it. There are a significant number of rule changes. We may recover, like we may mention them when they come up, but I'm not going to specifically plan to call them out. We'll note them if we do happen to see something as it comes up during this scenario. Uh, so far, we've had a good time playing this. Scenarios have been nice and quick. We've been able to finish them in, what, about an hour and a half to two hours? Well, under some, two hours. The first couple were really yeah. quick. We did three in one night. Yeah, we did We did scenario one, two, and three in under two hours. Four and five took us about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, I think, each. Yeah. So we expect this to be about the same. Um, we are going to go through all the steps. Um, because we're out of the tutorial, there's no more reading from the, um, I don't even remember what it's called, the book. The book that introduces everything. Which is somewhere. I have the guidebook. glossary. I did the guidebook. I don't even remember now. Guide to Gloomhaven. Whatever. We're done with that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, we do have the glossary, though, which is where it has all the rules. The glossary is a nice touch in this edition, where it just has everything broken down alphabetically. So if you just like need the rules for line of sight, you can look up just the rules for line of sight. Now, I have set up the scenario ahead of time. We have not read it, though. Um, we will be doing a town event at the end. Um, before we get rolling, though, we'll just introduce our characters. And then we're going to do a little roller coaster for those of you here live. We're going to point the camera down and we'll start playing. Now, before I get to that, I did mention you can head to our website, tabletopbellhop.com. And before you leave, no matter how much of this video you like, it'd be awesome if you hit that subscribe button and ding the bell. Alrighty, so who are you playing? I am playing the Volrath Redguard, which I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, just cool. pull it up a bit. You yeah. can see it pretty clear. So we have better he's lighting got now. a lot of interesting uh, abilities that play off of shields. Uh, it's a, like a desert theme because there's a lot of desert night and sands and whirling blades kind of thing going on. All right, and I am playing the human void walker. Uh, at some point near my childhood, I was ripped into the void, which destroyed and messed with part of my face. And now I have an affinity with the void. And a lot of what I do is manipulate those around me, whether that being my allies or my enemies. All right, roller coaster riders are moving around. No, you know what? First, we're going to grab the map of Gloomhaven. And just to show everyone where we are, we are now going across the bridge over here to this section of town here, where we are headed to the Corrupted Research Lab. So this is another change from the original Gloomhaven. Obviously, this is your entire map. I'm looking at the scenario map, and I'm reminded of another change between the, this and the original Gloomhaven, and this is much more gruesome than the original. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> this version of Gloomhaven is less family friendly. A little darker. This is a, quite a bit darker than the original. Where are we starting? Do we want to like get in close to melee in these guys? We got some rat things here. Torch. You doing the torch? You doing it or am I? I got it. Like, what's your battery at? I don't know for sure. Okay. 71. Yeah, I'm at 70, so we're about the same. Well, I don't know. I found my tends to last longer than yours. Fair enough. Okay, I need this out of the way. Torch we got the right on. title at the bottom. You can just barely see the element sheet up here. Another uh, thing is these are... Back from a search. These are now uh, cardboard on. tokens. That's a little disappointing compared to the original. 
Okay, the other thing I want to test is we want to hold these real close for the autofocus, right? There we go. Perfect. And if I was doing the bottom of my card, there we go. Okay, that's All right, getting excellent. freaking shadows as soon as I did this. I don't know how it looks on the camera, but from here... No, the standees are now... Well, you want the standee up if you can. And didn't we want the light at the top? You want the other... Yeah, flip it over. Hey, look, the standees glow. Wait, except you're bumping the camera. I'm bumping the camera. It's not now good. everything's not in the right spot. Sorry. There we go. So look, we have standees up here. All right, we should be able to see the standees. So I guess say these ones are a little harder to see just in general. What creatures they are, a little harder to see. All right, I think that's what's going to go. Standy light looks good. I, uh, we are going to have to pick our cards once we know. Do you want to try holding your cards up so you know where you want to hold them again? Closer. That worked, but closer well, in general. You know what, where the laptop is, I can actually see the screen. Oh, there so you go. That, means that was I, part of why I moved it. Yep. I can tell if I have it in frame or not. Okay. Perfect. Look at all these improvements. We don't quite have the top-down camera yet. The, 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 another camera is the next upgrade, and yes. I still don't... I don't know what I'd want to do with it. If I'd want to be able to see us... Mm. With us like a black backdrop, like down in the corner, down here somewhere, down I don't even know where I'm pointing. I don't know. Over here, we're taking there. up the whole screen right now. Right. Well, they just needs to see anything other than the game. Well, just so you can see when we're thinking, you yeah, don't see just static like, nothing. Doo -doo. If you could swap, if you could just swap cameras by hitting a button. Well, yeah. Then like, well, that's what we used to do. Remember, I used to zoom in and zoom out. I'd zoom out so you could see us, and I'd zoom in when yeah. we're moving our stuff. Basically. Yeah, that might like. Yeah, if you could swap between. I, I was just thinking you'd have it down here. You'd have right where my hand is. You'd have a little window with us, and you'd just at least yeah, like it'd be tiny, I just right? Find we have so much going on; it takes up most of the yeah. space. Or right? up here, right? Like you, the counter tray. Well, this doesn't, doesn't need to be in there. Yeah. Which actually, you could put the monster decks over there. I still think you can flip them onto here. Yeah, onto here, so them. people can at least see what they are. All right, I've set my health. Are we good for intro here? Yes. The problem is, I look here and I see this light. Your day starts out mundane enough, delivering a bloody piece of the tumor to some stodgy researchers at the university. You walk through the halls, getting all manner of confused and dirty looks, until you arrive at the door of one Professor Haltrip, foremost researcher of organic alchemy, or so you were told at the front desk. Do come in, you hear a small gruff voice, sorry, didn't read gruff yet. Do come in, you hear a small gruff voice on the other side of the door. Inside, you find an old quattro, made even smaller by a hunched back. He is rooting around his messy office, looking for something. When he sees you, a look of disgust crosses his face. But once you produce the tumor piece, his eyes go wide with amazement. You explain the whole situation, the disappearances, the vermlings, the black sludge, and the earthquakes. And the tumor. You explain that there are other tumors out there, used in some nefarious unknown plot. And then the professor sits silently in thought for an uncomfortably long amount of time. Well then, he finally starts, we'll need to get this to my lab with all haste. There we should be able to run some tests to figure out what it's composed of. It's various signature alchemical compositions. Once we know that, then maybe we can come up with some way to track the others down. You hand the tumor off to him, and then, because you have no other leads, you wait in his office for what feels like hours, staring at his disorganized assortment of books, papers, and dirty bottles of foul-smelling liquid. Then, very suddenly, your boring day becomes a lot more interesting. Haltrip bursts back into his office, his face splattered with blood. Something has gone horribly wrong in the lab! He screams as you, and he races down the hall, much faster than you would have thought possible. You follow, and he points you to a room overgrown with bloody growths. Several dead lab assistants and a swarm of rats with growths must have morphed into monstrosities. It's going to keep spreading! Do something! Do something! The objective is destroy all growths. Special rules. The objectives, in yellow, are growths. Each one has... One plus level, so our level is one, so two, times the number of characters, so four hit points. So we are going to put four hit points on each of these growths. Easy a little bit, sir. Okay. I was wondering what the yellow parts denoted. 
Well, you were reading. I was looking at it. So yeah, not gross. Not gross at all. <laughs> not darker not, compared to the not, original. Not dark Gloomhaven. at all yeah, compared no. to the original Gloomhaven. No, no darker gross plot. Yeah, we fought a giant bloody tumor. That was the main bad guy. Well, we got people laughing. I <laughs> must have done something right. I should pre-read text so I can read gruff voice before I start with a high-pitched voice. Gruff voice? Wouldn't eat you because you're too tough. All right, 80. Yeah. And that's it. Just conclusion. We need to kill all the hmm. things. We have a door. We have um, some rat monstrosities, which as they die, they explode, suffering damage to everything around them. Um, they not that tough, though. And then is there an elite? Yeah, the elite, though, also has advantage. Okay, this is silly. I should show this off. Yeah, it just has advantage, I guess, all the time. There we have the rat monstrosity stat. On death, all adjacent figures suffer two damage. And it always has advantage. And you don't want to be next to it when it does. Okay. And so, also in the room, we have a black sludge, which are sh have shields. Otherwise, very slow. Black sludge. Come on, camera. Seriously. It's the only thing on the screen. Nope. No black sludge. Okay. I really am getting annoyed. Could you rotate the monsters to the left a bit? Can't make out what kind of monster they are. So what we have is these greenish ones are the black sludges. These are the rats. They're a little hard to see on the camera. The rats are a little small. Is that going to zoom in? Are you going to focus on I that one? There really we dark. go. That is a rat monstrosity. And these are the disturbing black sludges. Come on, camera. Ta-da. All right. Do you want to do your objective cards? I already picked one. All right. I think I know what I'm going for. I'll close my eyes. Go ahead and if you want to show them right. on the screen. Well, these are the two... Battle oh, rolls. I was going to say objective cards isn't the right word. Battle rolls. And I don't want this to happen. I'm going to go with that one. So one of the things with Jaws of Lion is a completely new deck of battle rolls. I have, I'll show you the one I'm not going to take. Although that's possible, but what I am going to take is I think with my character class, this should be pretty easy. You can do it, camera. There we go. I'm keeping this one. I don't want this. So our goal is to take out all these? Yes. Do we also have to kill all the nope. parties? Just take those out. But I'm assuming we're probably going to want to kill everything in this room before yeah, going yeah. into the next. No, I'm just thinking about it before I pick my cards. And then just to confirm, objectives, I think, count as obstacles until they are killed. Which is going to make this first room a little interesting with two of those in the middle. Hmm. I will double check. We'll have to hack our way through. But again, not gross at all. <laughs> or a jump. A jump would Objective hexes are surrounded by yellow. They cannot be moved through unless movement is modified by a jump. They are always important to the goal. They will have maximum hit point scenario. This value can be affected by damage just like any figure, but objectives are immune to all conditions and forced movements. When their hit point drops to zero or lower, it is destroyed and a destruction token is placed on the hex. We probably won't bother. We'll probably just once the health things are gone. Yep. Uh, anything considered with a destruction token can then be moved through normally. They are not obstacles, specifically not, so you can't destroy them as obstacles, but they can't be moved through, but they also don't block line of sight. Okay. Nor do obstacles. Um, you can jump over all this nonsense, though, right? Well, you probably can. <laughs> I'm not going to be jumping over Folks anything. Folks in general can Yes, jump. players can jump over. I still have to pick my card. Yeah, me too. So we're destroying obstacles. I don't even remember how many cards I get. I get 11 cards. Yep. One, two. Yeah. Like, 
pulling just doesn't matter this time. No, that's what I'm looking at, right? right? There's no traps this time. Nah. Definitely. This is the definite path. Definitely. Um, maybe. Definitely. 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 <laughs> Where's my new two card? Didn't I get a two card? I must already said definitely to that one. Maybe. Yeah, my two's there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Okay. I think we're taking that one. So, quickly go through the deck I am using. I have Resigned Frenzy, Gift of the Void, Turn Out the Lights, Close to the Abyss, Wicked Scratch, Master Influence, Black Moon, Freeze the Soul, Lure of the Void, Crushing Cold, and Grasp of Doom. Do you want to... Oh, you're still picking? Yeah, sorry. You know, I fear that I also gives these, Sean something I to edit, too. I have all these to. powers that key off of using light and fire, and I have nothing that freaking infuses light and fire. Yeah, our character... Not nothing, but very little. Well, you could take that potion. Right? But that's a one-time use. That's a one-time use, so I think I'd rather have the stamina potion. Yeah, that's what so I So that's what I'm currently frustrated by. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, I, I can't infuse drink. fire. Definitely need that I one. do so ice. I, I make things light. cold and dark. I like it cold <laughs> and dark. <laughs> I think I can trust you to keep me healed, so I don't need my heal. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, famous last words. Okay, so I have ten cards. I have twirling stabs, shocking advance, flaming sickle, blinding sickle, swift strength, shield spikes. Flame Shroud, Oops. Shield of the Desert, Blade Dance, and my new level 2 card, which is Barbaric Instincts. Hurry. We have goals. We have everything. We're good to go. All right. We know I have to actually decide what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I would like to start doing stuff. There we go. Okay. Are you moving into melee? I'm thinking of moving in and standing between those two rats. Perfect. I think I'll be doing this. And what am I going to do on the bottom? What points do these rats have? The rats have four. That's not good. Hmm, the way about this, I go really slow. Hmm. Ooh, I guess I got rid of all my <laughs> move fast cards. Set. All right, I'm good. Okay, I am going at sixty-eight. I'm going at fourteen. The rat monstrosities are going at seventy-four, moving, taking some damage, and getting plus one to their attack. That might hurt if you don't kill them. And the black sludge is doing a toxic explosion. Which is perfect, because they're doing it way back there. They're attacking at plus zero, range two, targeting two, poisoning. Okay. But they're not going to be able to reach us. So. Black Sludge, number two. 
Um, uh, name Google's glass. I do. No, the the rats. Here's that glass. So there we go. That is the new initiative system. Initiative. Not that the people can probably can't see that. Well, it's on camera. If they can read it, is if they can read thing, it, yeah. It's here. It's you can see it. We're we're the D's the the whitish red. I'm the gray. The monsters are red. You could just up a little bit more. If yeah, you can. but then when I go to grab it and move it, well, it will the start problem is it's not hitting the, the camera. Uh, otherwise, coils there. Maybe I'll shove it here next time. It'll be so much yeah, easier. Yeah, you can to put it somewhere. Up. I was thinking that might be more readable to the camera, but I can't tell. Any road, I'm going first, and so I am using sh shocking advance. I'm just going to do the movement portion. I'm only going to move two because I want to be right okay. there. So people have asked to see the minis. So that's my lovely Bora. Though it focused for a second, but then went back to the. The miniatures are awesome. Come All on. of the minis are awesome. Camera refuses to focus again on the miniature. It did it for a second. Come on. No? All right. Sorry. That's the best you're getting today. What if I put my hand behind it? It might or might not work. You're going to show off yours, too? Are you going to show off your when I move. as well? Oh, okay. All right. So, anyways, light's infused. That's why I use that particular one. Okay. Okay. And then... We're going to have some twirly stabs. Much closer. Which is attack to target all adjacent enemies. And I learn something. I gain one XP. That never went into focus. Well, that part's not my fault. I'm holding there you go. Me. See, it has to be close. There you go. <laughs> now you can see it. So I'm going to grab my one XP right now before I forget. And... So, I will attack this fella first. It's number six. For two plus one is three. Oh, one away. And then I will attack this other rat, number eight. For two plus one is three. Okay. And I'm done. May not have been a great draft to idea, but we'll see. Next is what? The black sludge. So the black sludge is not moving and it's attacking at range two. So nothing that affects nothing. us. Then me. Okay, right, we are going to start off with the wicked scratch. Which is going to let Deanna attack at an attack three on whichever one you choose. I will attack number eight. Infuse dark. Eight. I don't know what the attack number was, but it's three. Plus zero. So that one dies. You take one damage. And then. I will use Master Influence for the bottom, and I will bless, you're probably going to draw more cards than me, so you, and I will poison that other rat, because these guys didn't move up. Can you grab me a bless? Yep. There goes the bless. Thank you. And I didn't move. There you can see my mini. Try to get the back. Doesn't seem to like focusing on the back. There we go. Interestingly, in the uh, topic of inclusion, my character is they, them, which I thought was an interesting choice. What did I do with the other card I used? There the rats need to go. I mean, I'm cool with them not going, but... So go. Okay, so the rats are doing... I can't quite see from here. Move plus zero. 
Yes. And then we lose one. The, yes. So it's going to. It's gonna, not going to bother me. But the elite, the elite gonna is going to go, go first. first. It moves one and takes one damage. Okay. Oh, you should have picked up. I just realized. It's number seven. Mm-hmm. Then the other one doesn't have to move, but takes one damage and dies. Silly rats. They don't have range attack or anything, so he can't nope. on me. He can't there, actually so... reach you. Alright. That was round one. No reshuffles. Waste of my poison, but that's alright. Do you want me to just move up and attack this? He takes up the rat? Sure. I can deal with that. You've only taken the one damage, right? Yeah. Um, a okay. -O. Just can't decide where we hmm. Although, if I attack a rat, I can curse their deck. Oh, he hasn't been hit at all yet, and he's going to have more hit points because he's the elite? That's correct. Seven? He's, he's taken one from moving up. Yeah. But yes. Huh. Didn't say it. Did he take one damage from the second rat dying? No, you didn't. Did you? You should have. You were correct. I did <laughs> not. Because anything adjacent to yep. it. Yep. That's why we have a guy in the chair. I can't decide what I want to use to take this thing out. You want to take some more damage? We can make sure this rat goes down. I mean, if you want. You'll take more damage, though. I got nothing better to do. I'm okay with that right now. Oh, no, this is a Jason ally. Well, it depends where you move. If I'm going to move up to attack the thing, I can make you attack the rat, but you're going to have to take some damage to attack the rat. I'm willing to take damage to attack the rat. I haven't decided if I'm moving. Well, then it won't, well, then it won't work. I might stay no, where I am. No, that'd be fine. Oh, no. Well. I might stay where I am and immobilize the rat. Okay. That changed what I'm doing then. <laughs> Bees will drop. I have a card that's heal two, range two. That's only on someone else, though, right? Can no, I do that, that on can yourself? be you too. Oh, okay. Because I had a different one that was on yourself, and that's why I was confused by it. That says self, if it only affects self. But if it doesn't, then it's anybody? Yes. Hmm. Cool. Well, then I can stay where I am, attack him, and heal myself. Oh, excellent damage. I can't decide. I really can't. I could just use an attack too. I guess. Now let's do this. Okay. Nope. No infused frost. I infused dark and light. Should have been the only two. Oh, that did frost as well. You're right. Paying lots of attention. I mean, may change to it. Well, if I have frost. See, I, all my, all my, if I use those. I know. I don't actually want to do the power that will use light. Well, no, they're, they're great. On. They're great, but they hitting ob, uh, objectives, they don't help because objectives are immune to status effects. That's my problem. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to stick with this. All right, I am going at 26. 
I am at 41. Rats. 52. These monstrosities like to hurt themselves. And nothing special from the black sludge. So the difference here, though, is it's going to attack ranged, too. So this, as far as I can tell, nothing special is something that's only in Jaws of the Lion. Every deck has a nothing special that's a move plus zero, attack plus zero. I don't think there was that in every deck in Gloomhaven. I keep needing to go back and check. Yeah, I know. We'd have to take the box down. You got the order? Yep. Who's first? You. I am first. I am going to start with Resigned Frenzy for the bottom. Oh, I'm just blocking all the light doing that. That didn't work. Which is a move four, but I'm going to use the black to make it a move three and get an attack two at the end. So with my attack two, I haven't shuffled this yet actually. Yeah, not having to build the map is fantastic. Alright, so two damage to this silly thing. It's at four, so I needed it. Yeah. I was hoping to finish it off. Oh well. And then we're going to use our top, which is turn out the lights, which is an attack two, range three. But I've already used the black, so I won't use it for that. I'm going to use this instead to attack this rat. It's a two. Minus one is one damage to the rat. Wow, this is why I let you do the attacking. That was not overly effective. And I get one XP, nothing infused or anything new at this point. All right. And I used up the black, the dark or whatever that element is. The darkness. I'm up next. I'm going to do Blinding Sickle. So that'll allow me to attack from where I am. Range 2. I'm going to attack this fella here. 3 minus 1. I'm only going to hit him for 2. He's immobilized though. So that's something. Light's infused again. Okay. And then for my second half, I'm going to heal myself with shield spikes. It focused quick enough, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so I get to heal too. That infuses fire? And that infuses fire. I thought you said there was no way to infuse fire. Yeah, I put them in. I, that's not what it's... It's okay. okay. Never mind. I wish there were more ways to infuse ah, okay. in my deck. Yeah, so people like the book, but the thing is that um, it limits you to dungeons where gloom you can do anything with, which is true. But for a starter box, this makes way more sense. Like, for this, it's great. Plus, I steal these. You don't have these. random dungeons in this. Yeah, there are no random dungeons. Um, there are a couple of wonky things, because you don't have overlay tiles. You can't remove them. So there's these special, they're in the very end there, that you put. So if we had, like, destroyed this shelf, you'd put that there. And then you have to remember that that's a destroyed shelf. Well, not remember it. Um, there was a note that I, I did. We liked random dungeons. They were a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. There is one misprinted tile in the in the set, and it's used on a couple of the different random dungeon things, which stinks. There is quite a bit of errata, but not nothing game breaking. Yeah, the main game has a tile where the graphics flipped left to right. We went crazy trying to make it yes, match the map in the book. It was a pain. Are you done? Right, yeah, I'm. I'm done. It is now the rat monstrosities. Well, the rat monstrosity is moving at plus zero, but he's immobilized. Can't do it. He would then attack plus one, but it doesn't happen, so he doesn't take the damage. Mm, yeah. So he does nothing and is no longer immobilized. And these other ones are moving one and then attacking at range two, but there are obstacles everywhere. They don't move because they can't get to you. There are either obstacles or... Yeah. So when you kill this, there's going to be They're going to start coming around this go. way, but right I'm now... assuming they can go through that half square there. No. No, that's, no, that doesn't exist. No. Hmm. So until we kill these two, they can't even come get us, right. but they're attacking range. But they do attack range, yes. But they don't move, because that's how the AI works. They won't even get closer to us, because there's no way for them to get into melee with us. Well, then. So they're done. I do need to reshuffle the unstable monstrosity deck. So this is something else that's interesting. 
is the monstrosity deck is a monstrosity deck, not a rat monstrosity deck. There is another type of monstrosity in this edition of Gloomhaven. Yeah, I, the errata I saw in here, like some of like, there's a thing that says like C, B, and C are swapped, but it's obvious in an example. There wasn't anything game breaking that I could find. All right, I thought I'd kill this thing with one hit. That didn't really work. Yeah. These all I'm, go. I you have fire and light if you want it. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking. Uh, so it. I could move the rat, four? but. Yeah, it's at four of seven. You don't want to be next to it when it yeah, dies. Don't want to be next to it when it dies you probably don't damage. want to be next to it when it dies. I I have I can no, that would burn the card. I don't want to burn a card this early. I can I can hit it twice. You need healing? Uh, no, I am at four hit points because I okay. healed myself. I You gonna end up adjacent to me? No, but then I'll be adjacent to the rat, and I don't want to do that. Fridge. Uh, if you, I was gonna go the other way to go for that. Maybe. But you're finishing off the rat. Well, I'm gonna attack it twice. Okay. The thing is, instead, with my second attack, I could attack the. Thing if I happen, but I don't think I could possibly kill it in one hit, so no. Well, so, you never, you've got a times two and a plus two at least. Yeah. Oh boy, and these like I can move the pull him towards me, and I, I can move the rat back, but he's probably going to do move. the pull portion, right? No, it's optional. It's optional. I am pretty sure pull abilities are optional. That is a change from Gloomhaven. In Gloomhaven, if you push three, you had to push three. You can now push one to three, or pull one to three. Because I'm thinking I don't really want to pull the rat in next to me and have him on my face as he dies. Yes, up to. That is a change from the original Gloomhaven. When a figure has a push X or pull X as either a standalone ability or an effect applied to an attack ability, they will either push or pull the targets up to X hexes. Okay. I said, if I remember, that's another one of the changes. In Gloomhaven, push and pull was optional, but if you chose to do it, you had to do the full amount, if I remember correctly. Alright, you're not going to be next to me. I am going to use this just as a top attack. And then, I don't know what I'm doing on my bottom here. Oh no! Here, I'll use this. We'll see where that goes. What we haven't decided is what we're going to do when we go back to full Gloomhaven if we're going to incorporate some of the rules from this that make sense. Like the line of sight, the new focus rules, possibly the item rule. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm Oh, good. sorry. I'm good. I'm just listening 36. To you. I'm at 10. Monstrosities are at 21. Fast this turn. How about the sludge? 66. So, you could put them right here, too, maybe. Or the other thing was Kamujan suggested going across. I could do that. So I don't know if, if people can even read them. For them to read. I don't know if people can yeah. read those or if they're too small. I think it would depend yeah. on uh, how big your TV is or your monitor. I knew that if that's what people would rather see. All right, anyway. So it's you. Yes. 
So I'm going to do my fancy pants blade dance. The, the, these ones are feeding. They're going to loot and so, heal themselves. Fire is infused, so I'm going to use fire to get you can see here plus one attack. So it'll be an attack two on this guy. Ooh, nope. Dang it. All right. So I can move in between. It was a ranged attack? It's it's attack two, range three, and okay. then move two. And, uh, sorry, it, well, it's attack two with fire. And then a second attack at range three. That's what it is. Yes. So in between, I get the move, and I'm like, I don't think I want to move because I don't want to be next to him. I'm potentially maybe going to hit him on the second one. Again, light's infused. I'll use the light to get plus one attack. Oh, wait. Hold on. I could pull him towards me. Because that's part of this. It's pull up to two. So I'll pull him here. And then I will you use You put him next to me when you kill him? Oh, shit. No, that's not good. We are explicit. You open one. Um. <laughs> I don't care. I can pay two damage. I can't it's not pull horrible. Him past me. No, you can't. No. So I'm like, no, nah, it's fine. I'll just leave him where he is. Whatever. And then I'm going to attack again. That's better. So that'll do three damage. So he is at four. Four plus three is enough to kill that rat. And a splatty splat. Nobody's next to him. Drops a coin. No one's oh, next to him. Okay. And then I'm just using this as a, as a basic move. Shield of the Desert, but not doing any of the exciting stuff. So I'm going to move two. And I'm going to... Um... You know what? I'm gonna be greedy and just land on the coin. Well, you take it at the end of your round. Yep. My All right. I if if that rat was alive, I had a couple different choices here. So I could have I could have moved and muddled him, or I could have done other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the top portion of this, which is way too powerful to use up this early in the game, and it's just going to be a basic attack. For two, two is enough to splat that objective. Can you get one of those destroyed tokens, please? So we have destroyed the first of quite a few. How many are there? Seven? First of seven objectives. Six. No, seven, yeah. And then I have a move three, muddle at range three, and infuse ice. So if I go here, I could hit either of those. If I just go there, I could hit either of those. I think that's better. I was going to grab the gold and be within range three of him, but someone took the coin. I don't know what she's talking about. So I will go up to here, one, two, and I will muddle number three. I need a muddle. It's mm -hmm. the question mark. Which muddle will give him disadvantage if he ever does attack? I know they're in there. So there this is there's no point because then they're gonna go and there's loot and heal, so it didn't matter. Right. There was no point, and then the muddle's gonna go away. Okay. Right. <laughs> Next round. Pop rats. Pop. Taking damage when adjacent to enemies normal. This is this specific creature. Any monstrosity which has been infected by whatever this cancerous blood crap is seems to burst when you pop them. Yeah, it's gross. Oh, I'm sick of all these attacks that do status effects when I can't do status effects. Darn it. I used up both the light and the fire last round. They should both be done. Oh, I infused ice, though. <sighs> Which I hate wasting on, on these things, but I guess I will. If I remember, these bad guys had range 2 attacks, so... What are you doing here? Do you have ranged attacks to attack these? I was these? just thinking of walking over there. Well, we gotta take these out or they're just okay. gonna beat on me. Yeah, well, that's a problem. 
Um. Oh dear. I, I wish know. I could attack when I'm ranged. I have a bunch of range too. You're standing in the one spot where I can hit somebody from. Well, you could have moved there. I could have. <laughs> But that wasn't my plan. My plan was to go over and get the coin, and I was like, eh, not the coin, sorry, the, um, tumor bit. You Gosh, could have. darn it, I don't know. I can't get through to the other side even if I wanted to. Well, then I should have a jump. Yeah. You've had jumps. I do. It's a move to jump, which won't get me anywhere from where mm. I am, because I can't land on any of that. No. <sighs> da, da, da. So, since I can't attack anyone, I'm probably just going to go over and hit on the tumor. Alrighty. Unless you give me some better idea. This might hurt you a bit. have target two, can you target the same one twice? Nope. Yeah. I don't like that answer. You're right, I should have moved one more when I had the extra move. I screwed up. Greedy. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Greedy. You've been getting all the money for the whole, since we started Jaws of the Lion. No, we got the same, you got the same amount as me last time. That's why you didn't get your battle goal. <laughs> so you can't say that. And there's only been three scenarios you get money. Um, so once I got, got more than you. <laughs> all right, whatever. I'm done. That was another thing. That, I give up on finding anything good to do. That was another thing that they slowly introduced money. Monsters didn't drop money at first, and we had no loot cards. All right, I am going at 58. I'm going at 6. I'm hoping to be before the bad guys. I'm really hoping to be before the bad guys. Probably. We're going at 36, so no. <sighs> I'm getting get picked on unless okay, you pull up. These guys are up. For now, yes. We got Black Sludge. You're going to get picked on, eh? Not by both of them right now. Because they happen to be attacking at range 3. It's fine. You good? I don't know. I can survive. One round of attacks. I'm a little squishy, but not that squishy. I got studded leather. Some of the items have changed and been rebalanced, too, and I don't actually know what's different. But I think all the armors are different because the armors are now... Um, they don't say when you take damage. So if you look, it's got significantly more text, but what it is now is when attacked before. Come on. You're driving me nuts, camera. Seriously. Now. I hate my webcam. All right, forget it. When attacked before trying an attack modifier card, the attacker gains disadvantage for the attack. And you gain shield one for the attack, which is a little different. Any rope, I'm just going to use a basic move, and I'm going to scoot over here. I'm going to do a range attack. I can hit him from there, and I'll probably... Yeah, that's probably it. So I'm going to do Flaming Sickle. So... Not anymore. Two damage. Two damage to what number? I... Oh, to this thing. It's oh. not. It's not dodging. And it doesn't pull. And fire is infused. That should be there. I'm gonna use my. Nah, I'm good. That's not even going to get you through over there, right? I know, that's okay. why I didn't walk over there. I stopped right. there because I'm going to have to come back this way anyways. Alright, we are going to start with Freeze the Soul. It's an attack three. It poisons, which isn't going to work because I'm going to hit one of these tumors. I am going to use the ice to give me plus one attack, though. Again, the muddle is not going to matter, but I get an XP. So it is an attack four. An attack two. Damn it. 
We are drawing terrible, terrible combat cards here. But I get an XP. And then I am going to use close to the abyss on the bottom, which is going to let me move all enemies within range 3 1. So we're going to move him nicely out of range of both of us. This one, unfortunately, I can't do much about. Is there anywhere in particular we want him? Do you want him closer, further? Don't care. Like here, a little further? Yeah. He can still hit me, but at least I got the other one out of range. Alright, then they're going to go. This one is going to attack me at range 3. Oh, they move anyway, so that didn't matter. They're going to move at minus 1. So that didn't actually help. So this one doesn't need to move to reach me. So it is going to attack me at attack minus one. So nothing. Woohoo. Then the other one. Oh, they went before me. Did we screw up? Oh, you didn't. Ah. You're supposed to tell me these things. I was thinking about my own stuff. My brain was also so. That's not good. I don't even, they were there and there. We're screwing up all over the place. Sorry. I was thinking about my own next move. Not watching. All right, so either way, he's just going to miss me. Um, then the other one can't reach you, so it's going to attack me for one. Ooh. Then I push him back. Ta-da. And hit this thing. I'm not going to redraw the cards. Yeah. It's not going to affect anything. Oh, good? Yep. So that's the whole round. Nobody has to reshuffle? Nope. Okay. Fire is less infused. I got nothing left here. Yeah, I only have two cards left, so I know what I'm doing. I guess I'll just pound on this thing and possibly step back. Okay. I can hit both tumors from where I am. Okay, so you're not moving? Yeah. Well, I was going to hit both of them and then scoot up one space. That was my thought. Okay, I'll just make sure to go slow-ish. Alright, I'm good. How quick are you going? You going nice, nice and quick? Pretty quick. Alright, I'll go 43. Hopefully I'm that's quicker 12. than that. Yeah, that's quick. What about sludge? 66. Oh, that's better. He really goes out. They're going to get the plus one attack. That's better. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not doing anything terribly exciting, but I have... You gotta hold that way. Swift Strength. There was there. will allow me to target to range two. Can't see it? Can't see it? I don't know. No, it didn't focus. It's fine. Okay. Gotta hold it in the middle so it blocks out more of the board. So, I'll target this guy. This thing. Didn't you have a shuffle? You should have shuffled forever should. ago. No, you're right. I had a miss. Run this. Alright, um, I'm targeting this guy. It's an attack two. Times two would be four. Ooh, Splat. so exciting. That's a waste of a bless. And then I will... My second target will be this one. For three. It's dead. Or whatever. It's destroyed. Two destroyed, destroyed tokens. Hmm. I was thinking of scooting up just to get closer, but then it also puts me in range of attack for those goofballs. Yes, it does. But then again, then they'll target me instead of you. I'm going to hopefully kill one of them. Because I went first. Though you might not. Yeah. Alright, I'll scoot up. You I'm can move further. A... I could. I could go to here. Yes. Yeah, I guess I might as well. Okay. That's it. That's just a generic move. Nothing exciting. Is it actually me next? For real. Okay. says it right here. Gift of the Void. This is a huge card. I am going to poison number three. 
So I need a poison on number three. Mm -hmm. Now you may attack it at ranged four. If you do, you take two damage. But it's an attack three. I choose to attack it. Attack, so four. So four. Five with the poison. But they have shield one. So close. So four. Four damage. Okay, and I take two for doing and that. And you take correct? two for doing that. And it infuses darkness. And that should be worth an XP, dang it, but it's not. And then I can move two, and an ally can move two, but I don't think that actually helps us right now. No. Nope, I was kind of hoping, but stuffs. we could back up. Hmm. You could back One, up. One, two, they're going to attack three. I'm literally going to. Yeah, that's not You a could bad back idea. up two. And then they wouldn't be able to hit Except me? they're moving zero. Move minus one is move zero. And they're attacking range... And they're attacking range three. So yeah, if I back up, then he can't... Back up two. Boop, boop. Now we are not in range three. They're move minus one. They only have a move of one at level one. So... Ta-da. Ta-da. Look at how good that was. Now, I am going to have to long rest if I don't use a stamina potion or short rest. Mm-hmm. I'm in the same boat. Do we want to just sit back and long rest? Except they might move up and hit us. If we knew what they were doing, I don't care. I think we could. I think we could long rest. I don't need the long rest though. Like I've taken one damage. Mm. Well, I just took two for doing that attack. I'm okay with the short rest too. I'm okay either way. These tumors, what's cut open, looking awful like like rocks. Yes, it's true. That's supposed to be the bare ground afterwards, I guess. They said that's your disadvantage, right? In the actual Gloomhaven, you just remove the token because it's a book. We have to use those generic tokens. Well, I don't. I, I could do either. I could easily short rest, or I could use a stamina potion and make sure I have two cards left. Hmm. I don't have that option. Having Which could be to move us back ten. again. I do not have that option. All right, I'm going to short rest. If we're both short resting, or we're both long resting. You have a short rest, and we both get to do something. Yeah. So let's short rest. Okay. So I still have that card. Any misery. Oh, do I want to let this one Yeah, I like it, but it's not. Ter it's my two, which kind of sucks. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. But what else could I draw? All right, I'm going to let go. It's my shield spikes, which I hadn't put oh, on yet. Oh, you hadn't put them on yet. That's huge. Yeah. But it's adjacent enemies, and do I really want rat monsters no. adjacent to me? I don't. Yeah, so. I, lo I lost Crushing Cold. Which, the top's really good, but it's a burn, so I hate using burns, because I play Gloomhaven a lot, and you only do that in the last room, in general. And, well, the bottom's really nice, because it's a move and muddle. But, you know what, I have other cards that I don't want to lose, so I don't want to take the chance on losing something like the Wicked Scratch. Right? Like, it could be way worse if I chose to, uh, stop that from happening. Alright, what do we want to do now? Let me know if you're moving to melee, because that's completely uh, different. Just thinking. I can... Oops. This goes down, this goes down. Ooh, good gravy. Alright, I know what I'm doing. Good for you. I am moving up just a bit, and attacking number three. Okay, I can attack both of them. Uh, I just got to decide what to use to move motion. up. Are you good with me being standing yep. there? Do you want me to grant you a move too in case you kill that thing in one hit? Or are you going to attack the monsters first? I'm going to attack the monsters. Okay. Unless you give me a reason to do otherwise. Uh, so, let's see. I got to move up. What do I want to waste to move up? That's the crappy part. I don't want to waste any of these to move up. Nah, this one will do. Alright, all set. Hmm. Alright. The first boss monster was gross. So another thing, I don't know if you've seen it yet, Temujin, but it uh, comes with a box insert, which is really nice. 36. Six. 85. Closest enemy in line of sight, regardless of range, suffers two divided by two rounding up damage. So one damage, and it heals itself one. Well, wow, that's just kind of lame. That could be really powerful if we were in a high level 
but because we are only on level one. It's interesting. It's would have been, you know, so it's healing and infusing black, which I like because I'm going to use the black and it'll be back. Mm -hmm. Black is back. Alrighty. I thought fire was infused right now. No, I think it went away at the end of it the round. It went away at the end of the round? When did you infuse it? Ah, uh, well, because I just shuffled my cards, I can't back that up and tell you. I am pretty I guess, sure. I guess you're right. I looked over and saw it there and thought we still had fire. That sucks. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Jeff. Yeah, it's good seeing you, sir. Virtually. Sort of. Um, alright, well, anyway, I'm going to just use the bottom as a generic move. And I'm going to scoot up there. And then I'm going to do my blade dance, which is far less cool when I don't have fire. I'm going to attack this fellow here. This is the one you already hit, right? But this is, is this the one you're going to attack? Like yeah, if I kill him, probably I'm going to kill up? him. Yes. I'll attack this guy. I then. should kill him. I'll attack That's him. That's range three, your blade it dance? It is. It's range okay, three. Perfect. It's attack one, range three. I say I should so, kill him. Nice. So two. Oh. Yeah. Attack one times two is two. Blech. What it's number not, is he? It's not as cool. It's a six. Then I could move two. I'm not moving two. Because it is a separate attack, I can target him again. Yes. Oh, that's something else. I only saw that to move. And they put dotted lines. For three. Nice. Except technically, he's only taken three total. Because he, he has shield. Because he has shield. Ugh. Shield. So what they've done is, if it's separate actions, there's dotted lines on the cards to make them more clear on what's modifying what. All right, and I learned nothing. It's very sad. I'm thinking I might use my stamina potion to just take that card right back. Oh, they started using those in Forgotten Circles. That's nice to know. We never bothered picking up Forgotten Circles because we're still like halfway through the original game. So we are starting off with it doesn't matter because I'm just going to move to. So I am not using uh, infusing or anything here. I am just moving there and then turning out the lights on this bad guy, which is an attack two range three. I am going to use up the dark to make it an attack three and curse their deck. So that's going away. It's just an attack three, but three plus one for the poison is four, which is more than enough to kill it. But he has shield. Yeah. Okay. I was just checking. I'm like, it's already at four damage. I also have shield. That's yes. all I'm... None of them are elite. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So that kills him. Drops a gold. Just has effects and stuff. Um, and I curse them. So that's going to get shuffled in there. And I gain one experience. Bad guy goes. I shuffle this in. Alright, what's he doing? So you take one damage and it heals one. Which is so common. Alright. And infuse with black, which is awesome for me for next turn. The only problem is you're next to this, which makes it hard. I know. I can't smack it. Oh. Next round, the dark goes away. Fades. One, two, three, four. Hmm. If you pull them in, I could do something. I can pull them for you. No, I can't. You said <laughs> you can pull them in. That's only target one. two, and I. <sighs> you could have pulled them in with a blade dance, couldn't you? Only the one I did last turn. Only if I'd actually had fire. Oh. It only does the pull part with. Uh, okay. If you have fire or light, and I had neither. Well, the other thing I can do, again, is I need range three. I guess I can move over one. Yeah, I've got range two, range two, range two. Well, I have all range three, which is nice, but it's mm, not enough. I could do... Well, I used my stamina potion to get blade dance back. I could do range three and attack him, but it's going to be two Kill attack ones thing. again. Then I can move through you. Right? I'm probably better off doing that. So. So, there's one that has some attack. I just need to know how quick you're going. Yeah. 
Um, well, plus I have to hope you actually smash through that. That matters too. I'm going to go back and loot the gold. Alright, so you really need me to smash through that. No, so, not necessarily. Let's see. I can make it if you don't smash it. Here, we'll switch it up. I'll do this, I'll go really fast, and I'll have you kill the guy, but you'll have to take some damage. How's that work? Well, I was thinking, I can I can attack this, and I can also do the blade dance, which would let me attack that twice more, because with disadvantage, because it's, it's adjacent, and it's... I can attack this. I wonder if that's no, it's still in two three, and then it wouldn't be adjacent. Yeah, so I can get three attacks in. Whatever. I might do that. It's not as fast though. All right, I'm at twenty nine. Twenty six. That didn't work. Damn it. I'm going before you does not work. Oh well. Shit. Sorry. Okay, we cannot get rid of the explicit tag, so you can't stop swearing. Alright, so I am just going to use Resigned Frenzy to move to... This doesn't matter, you can't do it, I'm moving anyway. How about we find out when the sledge is going up? No, I don't care. 66. Okay. Uh, then, I am going to use Gift of the Void, which is going to poison the sledge. Come on, camera, there we go. Poison the sledge, range 3, and you can attack it at 3 if you take 2 damage. Now the poison will negate the shield, right? Effectively. So you're attack 3, 2. He is taking 4 of 5. So close! 2 plus 1 would be 3, right? Oh yeah, no, the shield, it just negates the shield. I have to take 2 damage to do that? Yes. Attack? But I thought you were going to kill it. Yeah. Not remade it dark, but... That's it. For me. Okay. That should have worked. Statistically, that should have worked. I am using the bottom part of the Oh, you're stars. showing is a light. Ooh, shiny light. To do attack instead of moving. I like that there's an attack in the move slot there. Attack this massive thing in front of me and hit it for three. And then I'm going to use Blade Dance again, which I had gotten back with my stamina potion. And I am going to attack the sludge for two. It's dead. I could move too. I will. I. No, you can't. Well, unless you want to back up. The only advantage I have to backing up is then I wouldn't have disadvantage. I'm about to do a ranged attack on this thing. I don't think it really matters. So I have disadvantage on this attack. So I have to draw twenty. So I guess it did matter. Oh look, that huh, just that as mattered. bad as it could. Either way, the minus one on a one attack was going to be zero anyways. All I was right. going to miss or miss. Remember now I reshuffle. get to reshuffle. That's going to be different. I did take out the body. All right, so. you're done. Yes. Here's where we should have long rested. And unfortunately, you're still standing there, so I can't hit it. So I guess I'm doing nothing this round. I'll go slow so that maybe, maybe something will Maybe I can smack change. through it first. Yeah, I don't have. I only have one ranged attack, and I already used it. So. Okay. Oh, I could give you an attack on this thing, I guess. And then maybe you go get the door. That's the other option. Yeah. It depends how quick you go, though. I can't go very fast. I wasn't going to go slow. Because uh, you are not going to reach the next bad guys. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, oh, no. I can't. Not with the cards I have left. So no, I guess I will just attack the thing that's in front of me. Okay, I'll use this. So and then, then I don't know. Keep that for next round. 
to you know this one. All right. I like it. It's a note. Where's that jump? Yep. I'll get out of the way either way. Okay. I'm going to jump over the thing and I'm going to attack it with one of these. I'm going to not use this chair next week. Because it still makes noises. It's Because you can't sit still. I don't know how much that's getting picked up, but... Yep. All right, I'm so... I'm at 83. I am at 16. So you go first. Yeah, this thing is not on there anymore. Oh, my love sledge. All right. I'll go first. So I'm going to do the... Move two with the jump. The shield, not that it matters. I'll just jump over this and go over here. I'm out of your way now. The shield might matter. You're not opening the door this turn. I'm not opening the door this turn. Oh, okay. I didn't have enough. Alrighty. With the cards I currently had. That's what I said. I said, oh yes, I'll open the door. And they went, no, actually, I can't. Um, And then I'm going to do an attack three. Which is ranged, so I'm at disadvantage. Shuffle my cards and then leave them sitting upside down. Does it do at least two damage? I do two damage. It only needed one. So okay, it's good. Dead. I'm like, I don't know how much damage your attack does. So. It was three. That particular attack was three. So I figured it was safe. Fire's infused. Okay. I have a shield on, not that it matters. See, I told you, you're going to open the door. I move two, you move two. Okay. That's why you wanted your shield. Cool. So that is with Black Boon. I move two, and one ally. The door opens. Moves two. <sighs> Blobbity. I don't know where the other blob is. Right here. Yep. And then ratity. Rat. That one right there. You got it. That's right. it. Right. Well, There's I no read. Left, so. And then we're supposed to put an exclamation mark just so people can see it. Oh, yes. This door, door has door been, opened. been opened. Which, eh. I don't know. At least you remember. I do prefer the flip over the door token. You didn't have to move into the room at that point. You could back out if you thought. I wanted to. Because now I'm good. we need to draw what they're doing. I know. So the rats are swarming you at speedy attack mm -hmm. at 21. Okay. And the other things are healing themselves at 85. That part I don't care about. Yeah, but you're going to take two damage automatically. Ah, uh, okay. It's going to happen either way. So you are going to be the closest enemy in line of sight, unless you can get out of line of sight, which nowadays, I highly doubt it. No. Alright, no. so the rats are first. So the rats go they? next. They are moving to... Oh, wait a minute. I gotta do, do it. Do them in order. order. Uh, the one will go first. Yes. So he's gonna move two. Then the other one's gonna move two. And it's gonna attack you at minus one, which puts it at one attack, and it would get a, a, a bonuses if there were other near it. So it hits you for one. Woohoo. Okay. That and me? then you just, you made me go. That was your turn. It was me coming through the door. Had you not finished your turn? No, I hadn't, but that's fine. Well, you would finish your turn before the Yeah, yeah it's not important. I'm putting up a permanent, which I don't even know if this will ever focus because it's just like too much text. Back it up. I didn't take that damage because I have go. shield on. Look at all that. So what this does is the first attack performed in each of my attack granting actions gains advantage. So if I give D an attack, it has advantage, and I can spend any element to give her plus one to hit. In addition, when I grant monsters attacks, it uses my deck. More importantly, it gives me two XP. Nice. That's just yeah, setting up for Yeah, I remember I have shield one till the end of the turn, so I yes. didn't actually take one. Good. Damage. That's even better. And unfortunately, I didn't use either of these elements. 
then the rats go, then this thing hits, and you're going to take two damage. Again, they do one no. and one? Oh, yeah. it, go, it ignores you shields because they're, they're doing They're not blood. attacking you. Yes, exactly. Okay. The th- regardless of range. Wow. Yeah. And they infused green. And they infused green. Which would have dropped at the end of the round. Okay. I am running out of cards Tiny again. Tiny switch back in the... Okay, what I would like to do is give you an attack. You would like to give me an attack. I that was my plan, because you will be attacking on... at plus one, and you'll have advantage. Yeah. Because that's what I'm good at now. I'm not really keen on being further injured. Can I tell you? Um, well, I could also... Oh, no, I don't have my bottom heal. Hold on. I could use a stamina potion and give yes. you a heal. How's that sound? Yeah. That it's not a lot of healing, but it's a bit. It'll help. That would work, because I'm starting to feel it. Okay. I don't know how hurt you are, so... I will do that. That works. Oh, it's going to be slow, though. Just don't die before the end of the round. It's not a big heal, either. I could make it so you make this rat go splat, but I figured it wasn't tough yeah. enough to make the rat go splat. splat. Uh, probably not. I can attack the rat. Uh, I wish that guy could fall a little bit closer. Everything is just not where I want it to be. Yes, not dying is always a good plan. I am cool on the not dying. I think that is a brilliant plan. I just... So I have to assume this new mat looks a little better. Probably doesn't look that much different than the felt. But it doesn't get all the little bits everywhere that the felt did. Yeah, the felt is definitely getting bitty bits. Everything's range 2. It's not so great. So yeah, it's kind of similar to the felt for just overall look, I guess. But yeah, it doesn't get the little bits everywhere. It's not the best option. It's actually the back of another mat. <laughs> which means nothing up here is going to slide, which is a nice bonus, but... We finally got some use out of Flick Horse. Hmm. I don't know, Mom. What are you doing? You're going to heal me, right? I'm going to heal you a bit and make you attack what's next to you. And you're making me attack what's next to me. Which hopefully there's still something next to you. Yeah, so maybe I'll do one this Oh, that's not going to work if you're moving. Never mind, I'm not healing you. If I move, then... I can't even reach you from where I am now. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Hmm. I'm like I could scoot up so we could be chasing wow. more interesting things, but then so yeah, I don't need to grab that heal here. card then. Are you really hurt? Like if we take a five damage? Yep. Okay, I'll heal you a lot, but you'll be poisoned. Take that one instead, since I can't actually reach you. That I could I... give myself hell a shield, but it would be a burn. I'm thinking I might do it. Because these guys are all going to gnaw on me this turn. Yeah, I'll heal you a bunch, but that's it. I can't do two things so, here without giving you a massive attack. If I shield myself... And I guess just attack the one that's next to me. And I'm not moving. It's not very exciting. Okay. Yep. I know what I'm doing. Alright, 43. I'm at 10. 9. No. For the uh, rats. Don't like that answer. And 85. Doing it again. They're taking 2 damage. Ouch. Well then. Alright, so the rats first. Anytime a figure attacks the rat, you take 2 damage. But if you don't attack it... And that's it? That's it's it. not attacking me? Nope. So the other one moves in, too. Okay. Then doesn't attack you. And if you don't attack them, you won't take any damage. Hmm. Hmm. You can back up. Well, 
I'm definitely not going to use this massive shield card that burns because no. this doesn't shield and they've already won. So. Well, it stays up until the, your next turn, doesn't it? Or is it end of the round? And I don't want to attack these guys? I don't know. You might, but you're going to take two damage. If you kill them, you're going to take more. Mm -hmm. Probably not, because I'm not feeling great right now. Which means I'm just going to sit here and burn a turn. Oh, God. So you can back out. Yeah, I might. Okay. Alright. Well, I have move three. Infuse light, is and that? And I infuse light. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's You're not going to hit any of them first? No? Mm -hmm. Alright. Wow. Is it me? Yeah, it's me. All right, I'm going to start off with Black Boon. I heal you five, but you are poisoned. And infuse dark. And then I am going to stun the elite at range three, which would curse me, but I could spend the dark, but it hadn't been infused yet, so I end up getting cursed. But I think it's worth it. Stun the... I don't remember. Is this stun? Yes. On the, the elite. elite. Nope. I can't reach it either. What number is it? Number two. Alright, then we gotta count this. Who's closest. Okay. I think we're equal from okay. that one. Yeah, and you first. went before me, so you're gonna take one. This one can't see you, but can see me, so I take one. They would heal, but they're not injured. Okay. Yes, they would heal, but they're not injured. Both of these need to reshuffle. Those oh. were crappy turn. Bad guys did silly things. So the elite stun. I might take a rest and maybe a short rest. Which should mean it's on death. is not going to do two damage to you. Oh, I like that answer. Well, it depends when they go. If, if you go before them. <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I am going to remove your poison. That was my plan. Let's combo those two. Except it's not going to, it's going to take a while. Should we assume that your bad guy is going to be next to both of us? Maybe not, actually, because the rats only move one. The rats are slow, except for when they're not. Are you moving up? Uh, probably. Let me think about this for a second. Yeah, I'm, I can't do anything back here. Okay, the so, other thing I can do is I could disarm the, the lead ra lead yeah. rat. I might just I disarm. I can stop it. in the door, or I could stop there. Well, I can have you attack, or I can disarm the elite rat again, so that he won't be able to attack again. Depending on turn order, going as slow as possible. Oh, never mind. It's not going to work. Never mind. I'm going to do something different. I will, I'll remove your poison. Okay. I'm cool with you removing my poison. I, I might um, strengthen you. I can't decide. We'll see how this plays out. This could be interesting. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go as slow as possible. Slow as possible. As slow as possible. Slow as possible. How passable are you? Um. 
Well, I can hope that's fast enough. All right, 14. 72. 34. Muddling. And 57. All right. Okay. So I'm just. Yeah, you can't loot when there's nothing to loot. All right. So I'm just going to use this as a generic move. I move up two. Yeah. Sit. And then I will do shopping advance, which will be an attack three, mobilize, and I'll use the light to give myself shield one. I did it again. I can deck stuff so far. I will swear. I boxed my deck. I don't even know how I managed to do that. Still upside down, D. How? I boxed part of the cards, I just don't know how I did it. Oops. <laughs> Good was job great. shuffling. That was awesome. Get to shuffle some more. <sighs> He's immobilized. He Not that that anyway. matters. He was stunned. It didn't right. do anything. Exactly. Uh, I get shield. I learn something. I get XP. Okay. Alright, that's it. I go last, eh? Duck. Okay, who's next? I can't read the black or black. Rats. Okay, so the elite shakes off his stun. Then the other one is going to move plus zero, and it's going to attack you. For two, make that one. You take one, and you're muddled. Uh, but you have poison, so you actually take two. Right, so I have shield, so I take one. But I'm muddled. You are now muddled. Then the other guys. They're each going to move one to get closer to you to try to get within range two. That is not within range two. That is not within there range two. There we go. Two. No, they won't move. They have no way to get into hand-to-hand -hand -hand with you. I'm pretty sure they will not move. There is no clear path to you. Okay, I know this guy was here and... On the spawning on the spot. spot. Okay. Yeah, they won't actually move up because there's no way to get there. And they can't actually get into range to hit you. I'm pretty sure that's right. That sounds right for the new AI? Well, that's the old AI, too. It's the one we were really screwing up <laughs> with people standing in doorways. So there's all these examples here, but I don't know if there's one for here for this particular find focus example. Yeah, there's no good example here of two characters in the way. Measure a path to any unoccupied hex from which a monster can perform, can be performed. The case where multiple equally are available, you choose all identified hexes or those from which the attack can be performed. Well, he can perform. Yeah, they do move because there is they could attack from here. Okay. So yes. They're only moving one. There we go. Yes. And then don't attack. Okay, and then it's your turn. <sighs> all right. What are we doing? I am going to heal two. Target to range to any time it removes a poison, you get a bless. So I actually just heal two, and you get a bless, and your poison goes away. And I also heal, right? No. Oh, okay. Because your poison went away. Gotcha. Right. That's right. Poison goes away instead. That's the end of the round. Can I finish my turn? And then I loot one, which doesn't help, but I strengthen at range two. Which basically counteracts your model. Yeah. 
It would have been nice if it was more than that. And I either short rest or long rest. I think I will short rest. That'll be strength and tiles on there. I'm very tempted to just remove the metal. Hmm. I think I want to keep our heal five, probably. One would assume. Yeah, I'll get rid of this. Damn it. I should have just let you use it. Should have gave you an attack seven. It would have been better than burning the card. Because it got burned either way. Alrighty. I plan on letting you attack something adjacent to you. That was easy. If you can infuse an element first, that would be awesome. Because then I can give you plus one. You will also have advantage, but it doesn't matter because... Um, oh no, you might if your turn goes first. I'm thinking of hitting both of these guys. If they're not dead, jumping past them. Okay. We technically don't have to kill all the bad guys. You could just run in and start bashing the thing. I just figured in this particular situation. Mm -hmm. And I realize if they blow up, that if I kill them, that they're going to damage me. There is that. Can you get well past them? No, I can just get just past them. But jumping past them gives me shield. Oh, well, well, sh well the shield so... doesn't help them auto-hurting you. Oh, the shield doesn't help when they explode? No. Oh, I could get them to back up, but probably not quick enough. No. I could stun one of them, but again, I'd curse myself. Okay, but I don't know if it would happen first. I got something else. I do it. That would be interesting. These guys are at four hit points, right? Yeah, they haven't been hit. If you back up, I totally got a move that I want to use on them. What if I got out of the way and jumped up instead? Oh, just get Either next way, to them. That's away from them, that's all. I have to be close enough to you, though, right? No. No? Okay. Because yeah, I... if I were to end my turn I'm not here... making you attack. I'm doing something else. Okay. Where's my move, then, attack card? Oh, there it is. Oh, it needs black. I don't know. I don't know what's better here. This is more fun. That's the only reason I want to do it. I could just burn two cards this turn. That wouldn't be that bad, would it? Oh, I'm sure that would just be... It should be fine. I'd still have six cards left. Why not? Let's see. Alright, I'm I'm good. I'm gonna I'm just gonna destroy myself this turn. Alright. I'm gonna jump into the room. Pop rats. I can't click on that. I don't have the mouse. Oh, I do, but it's not in reachable. We rearranged. The laptop's far away now. Mm. What I need to do for next week is find a way to make the chat a little bigger. Which I think can be done. Alright. I don't know. Let's do this. I will make these be interesting. I've decided I'm throwing all my cards away. Good. Great. 26. I'm sure we won't regret that. I'm at 16. Next. Oh, 21. Damn it, the rats better not move. That'll really suck. I wasn't expecting that. And then 66 for the big ones. If the rats move out of the way, that'll be terrible. I'm going to be very frustrated because I'll have wasted two cards. Next time you got to put your phone on airplane mode. You're right. Well, it vibrated me. And it's up against the camera. I could grab it right now, but no, then the light fine. would change. Um, 
Silly rats going so, so quick. So, yeah. Well, is it bad that I'm moving away and leaving them to no, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just... Well, then I'm going to use the new what are you, portion. What speed are you at? I'm at 16. Okay. I'm, so I'm going first. Then the rat monstrosities, then you. I'm going to use the move portion of Blade Dance, which yeah, is get close. move four and There jump. you go. And the enemies that you move through suffer damage. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Nice. Yeah, it's going to totally ruin my turn. Completely and totally ruin my turn. What numbers are they? Uh, two and three. <laughs> And then I will do Swift Strength, which, sorry. There you go. Attack two, range two, and pull. So you said that you can ignore the yes. pull. So I'm going to hit this guy here. I really will for four. Okay. What number is he? Number two, the elite. And then my second target, I will hit the sludge. For two. For one. Yeah. And what number is he? One? Number one. That one I can see. I don't think I want to move him in next to me. Well, he's going to do He's going to move two. next to you anyway. He's going to do move minus one. No, move plus one. Or you're talking about the other one. You could, but he's just going to back up. Sludge. Yeah. Well, oh no, because no, their move minus one, one is not move, so yes. Yes, yeah, so then he'd have disadvantage if I pulled him in, yeah, so I will use the full portion. And I learned something by jumping through those bad guys. It's very educational. That's it. All right. Swarm's next. They're going to go after you because you were earlier in the initiative than me, which really sucks. So this elite's going to come up and hit you. It's going to attack at plus one. No, zero. Straight even. So two, it missed. Then the other rat, one, two, we're both still equal, so it's going to go over to you. Puts them both out of range three, which is horrible. Now this one though is going to get a plus one because you have three allies. Plus one if the target is adjacent to any. Oh no, not plus one per. Have plus one attack if you're adjacent to any allies. So just plus so one. So just normal. So three. I will use my shield, so I only take two. And then I don't know what to do, because what I was going to have is force all enemies within range 3 to attack their adjacent allies. And then I was going to force one enemy within range 3 to make an attack 3 ranged on another enemy. Nothing's within range 3 now. <laughs> so, I was going to burn both of those. So we're just using this as a move, so don't worry about all that fancy text down there. We're going to move 2. Now, they're all within range 3, so yes, we are going to burn this. We are going to use... Resigned Frenzy. They don't want to do it, but they have no choice. They're resigned to the fact they're going to Frenzy. So all enemies within range 3 are going to perform an attack to targeting enemies adjacent to them of my choice. They're also going to have advantage on these attacks, and they use my deck. Okay. They're ranged attacks and they're attacking adjacent guys, no, though? No, they're not ranged attacks. Okay. Cool. So what do I want to start with? The only problem is you're going to take three damage from exploding rats. I know. That was the problem. Is they weren't if they so stayed here. So attack this guy last. Have him attack him first. Why? Because he's the most likely to explode when you hit him. He only has four hit points. Okay. So we will have three. Attack number one. And they're all attack twos. If there were any elements infused, it would have been much better. So first off, an attack two. Plus one, which infuses dark instantly. There we go. So he did three. Plus one so three. two. So two. On two him. to one. And then we'll have one attack him back. Which now. Oh, he had advantage. Sorry. That was the second card. It's still going to be the plus one. 
Second one, first attack, is going to be minus one or minus one. Um, so what's their damage? It's a two, so it did two to the rat, oh, which isn't quite enough. Minus one though, right? Yeah. And then the final one, I am going to use up this to give it plus one. Have this fellow. So attack that one. There's... Well, I'll take the minus one. So minus one plus one is two damage. Two plus this does kill it. So you're gonna take one. That could have been way better. I take one that curse damage. is gone. And I gain two experience. Money goes out. Three enemies attacking, that should have worked better. Yeah, it was. Whoa. What are we doing? The actor who played Black Panther died. Whoa. Well, that sucks. COVID? Something else? Plane crash? Dang. And yes, I was bad and put monster curses in my curse deck. In my deck, because I'm lazy. All right, they got to go still, don't they? Yeah. Like you gotta, the, gotta the rats the went first, so they've already went, but the sludge still gets to go. Yes. So it's the, which one's first? Number one is going to move zero right. and then attack at range at plus one. So it has disadvantage. So it has disadvantage. It misses. Okay. And then the other one is going to not move and attack at range three. Can it hit anyone? No. I am four away. And I'm perfect. You are four away. Okay. I like that answer. I need to shuffle this deck. Yep. Oh, you're right. What? What did we, we do wrong? We are now? terrible at this game. What? It's all of Jason's figures take one damage. So when the rat explodes, it hit everyone around. Oh, them. well, I like that answer though. I'm cool with that. And it would go through the shield on the sludge. Yep. Cool. Still not enough to kill it. Sadly, I'll see what I can do. It was about a little that. bit more effective though. Um, it still wasn't as um, neat as everything I wanted to do that turn. Yeah, it would have been better. I, who knew the rats would go that fast? Yeah, they're usually quick. We need to kill these stupid things at some point, too. I know. <laughs> as long as we don't run out of cards, it'll be fine. Right? They're not going anywhere, but yeah. Well, I'm going to... Do you need healing? Like, you've got bad uh, guys all around you. Yeah, you know, I'm about halfway there. Um, okay, so maybe I'll do that. Going to turn... Get all the guys that are around me and hit them. And then hit them some more. Okay. I'm not moving. Okay, perfect. 68. So. Colon cancer, wow. I hadn't even heard, like, he was sick. Okay. 74 um, for the rats. I'm at 12. What are you doing? And a 68. Oh, the stupid things are doing that thing where they heal themselves and do damage automatically. Ugh. Don't care for that. Yeah, that one's annoying. Alright, so I'm at 12. Then me. Then you. Then the rats. Yes. Then the sludge. We got it. Okay. So. First. Well, at least they knew it was coming. I guess he's been suffering for four years. Let us attack and target all adjacent enemies. Starting with the elite rat. Oh. You did it again? No, I had it there so I knew I'd have to shuffle. I just forgot to do it. Okay. I had it set aside going, you need to shuffle at the end of the round. You've yelled at me before after doing it before the end of the round, particularly since you can force me to yes, attack. Yes, exactly. Right? So I had it sitting on top of my deck so I'd remember to shuffle because I drew my two times last round, which means shuffle time. All right. So on this fella, attack two. Hey. You missed. Good shuffling. Awesome. That's twice now. You shuffled right. that to the top of your deck. I'm amazing. And then here for I don't him. remember. Attack I think we screwed two. up something, but oh well. For three, he has shields. So that'd be two damage. He does. Okay. I think we forgot the advantage on the elite rat. He always has advantage. 
It's possible. We might have screwed that up. Um, yep. And then I'm going to use... Uh, I'm not going to There move, you go. And I'm going to attack and boom to the back. Oh, XP for that. you. I know. Uh, attack one with minus one is zero, but he does get wounded. No, right, he's dead. He dies. At the start of his turn, he takes yep. one and dies. And you when take he two. dies, I take two damage. Yep. There's no more rats, right? I did learn did learn something. I got XP from attack now with Jason Allen using French Willy Stabs. And so I will give myself some XP. And I will take two damage. Turn myself here. And then one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. You went before me again, you take one. And it heals, but it's but at it's, full health. Yeah. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little rough here. Well, I didn't go yet. Help you wait, let me go first. Yeah, you should go. So that rat's technically not dead yet. Because he would die on his turn. Yeah. Technically, that rat's still there, so we won't okay. remove him. Um, so, the rat's going to die. There's no point in doing this. <sighs> this is annoying. Hmm. All right, we're going to move to... You also want to be Jason so when he blows up? Just yeah, pointing it out. It's fine. It's fine. I just this is what I wanted to do, but it don't matter when the rat's dead. So we're just moving to. If it was a moving loot, I would have used it. But then we're gonna use Gift of the Void, which is gonna poison this guy, and then you can make a ranged four attack at strength four, or sorry, strength three with advantage. But you'll take two damage. Oh, uh, I don't think I should do that, Mom. Huh? What? Because if I take two damage and then take damage when that rat explodes, then I'm going to be unconscious. Oh, great. Waste of a card. That was awesome, though. How are you? Didn't say you said you're at about half. Your normal oh, so health no, is four. I already four? took the two. No, I was at five. I already <laughs> took the two. Like you said, I'm you're at three half. because I already took the two from him exploding. So I would take two more and I'd be at one. I can do it. It's fine. I'll do it. All right. So you have an attack five. Uh, attack an three attack with advantage. Three with advantage. No one can see that. I know. That would be a dead monster. That see, it was worth it. Worth it, because nothing can hurt us now. Now, do we actually have to play this out? I guess we have to, right? Then this actually explodes. And then he explodes. I already took the two damage. Goes there. Turns into a coin. Yeah, I already took the two damage as well. This is over with. We just have to go kill these stupid things. Oh, and I pick up this one coin. Woohoo! I'm so rich this event. Yeah, because he died and he didn't. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll just walk over there and start smacking on one of these things, right? I mean, what else is there? Um, I'm going to go over here and hit on this one. Or do you care which one I beat on? You're going that far in one turn? Yes. Okay. I can't reach anything, so... Yes, I am going that far in one turn. Alright. I could go farther. And I'm doing it very fast. Not that it matters. Not that it really matters at this point. I'm just trying to find ways to get XP. Which I don't have much. So we can use that. And do this. All these are move ones, which suck. Alright, I can't reach anything. So, sure. Sure. I am going at 36. I am going at 6. At 6, I'm going to use this big shiny move 4 to move 4. One, 2, 3, 4, all the way over here. And then I will use Shield of the Desert to just do an attack 3. 
switch. Yeah, I have to shut the light off. Oops. If I manage to shuffle it so that the mist is on top again, I'm you just gotta hand stop you shuffling. My deck. I'm never shuffling. This is my taking deck forever this time. Alright, because it so killed everything. That's four. Three that kills one it. is four. That kills it in one go. Boom. Done. Yeah, it's going slow because it was a slog. We killed everything. And we we didn't killed have to. everything that we didn't have to. Yep. Alright. Uh, I'm going to use. I would like to use this to move further, but this is worth XP. So um, I did this in the wrong order. Where is it? Yeah, we'll use this. So I'm going to use this to make it a move five just because. Go one, two, three, four. And then um, I could heal or whatever, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to use this as an attack. It's attack two plus one is three. Then I'm going to short rest, I think. Yeah, I have to short rest on my cards. I'm not out of cards. I just want to get ones that give me XP. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not a bad, it's not a bad plan. However... Ta-da! Oh, what do we got? I just need to scoot for it. Damn it. That didn't work very well. Okay, we're doing that. Which will probably kill this. And then, I don't know. Use this. Sure. I'm at 36. One of these is just. There we go. Alright. I'm at 14. Not that first. it matters. I'm first. I am going to... Well, it'll matter to... if I give you attacks or stuff. But... That's true. Yeah. I'm going to move. Technically, it's a jump move and I get shield. Not that it matters. Um, and then I will do an attack three and I will immobilize the thing. But no, you won't. Also, it doesn't happen because it's a, it's a thing. Uh, three minus one would only be two, sadly. Okay. This might actually work. I'm... You're going to force no. me to finish it off? No. Alright, I use a ridiculously way too powerful card to do nothing actually useful because none of these types of work. It's an attack too, is all that matters. I poison, wound, curse, and whatever the objective, which you can't. It infuses both these colors, though. I get 2 XP. Nice. And it's an attack too. Make that an attack 3, and I stunned it too. All the status All the effects. status of every status effect possible. So. Had this been an enemy, it would have been poisoned, wound, cursed, stunned, and cursed. Most assuredly dead. And then I move to... Oh, I'll move on to the cold one. See, that's such a better There plan. you go. And then if you were a little closer, you could move too. But the gold's better. Mm-hmm. And then... What do I do on the last round here, probably? I don't think I can get in to hit it. Go get another gold coin. These go down. Well, I'd like to get one more XP. If, uh, you're not close enough. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to go way too slow. You're probably going to... Oh, we get to go to the end of the round. If you don't kill it, I think you get an XP. <sighs> I'm probably going to kill it. Yeah, I know. Otherwise, I need to move four. I don't have a move four. All right, I can, I can hope you don't kill it, and I'll get an XP if you don't kill it. And then I can use whatever. Um, it's going to be a move two either way. Good enough. 68. All right, 10. I go first again. So if you miss it, I'll yeah. use. I'll get you to kill I it and get an XP. I got an attack XP. three. Nope, so it's no, dead. That's a three. It's dead. I will use my second card as just a generic move. Scoot over here and land on the coin yeah. because I like monies. I would have got you to Wicked Scratch, but there's no point. Then I just move two down here to grab this coin. Ooh, and ta-da. Oh, yeah, it's rubble. fine. We know. Rubble. We know. 
And da 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 We did it. What's it say? What terrible thing happens now? Are we switching it back or are we reading it from here? Let me just read it. Your weapon and face are covered in streaks of black and red. The various viscera of a number of creatures you've never imagined you would have to fight before today. Your left eye twitches a little. Well then, you hear a familiar gruff voice behind you. This is quite the mess. And by the loss of my students is a horrible tragedy. He stares off into nowhere with a forlorn look. Until his eyes pass down to his hands. In them is a flat, smooth stone covered in sticky green film. But not all bad news. Based on our tests and the violent reaction of the tumor had to that last one especially, I was able to develop a method for sensing when this particular type of organic matter is near. He lifts the stone to his hand in his hand. This is what the green glow is. Good, we have blood sensing gook stone. Gives each of you a slimy stone of your own, and you send the next several hours splitting up and scouring the streets of the city, trying to locate more of the growths. In the end, you pinpoint two locations, an abandoned set of buildings in the sinking market and a warehouse down at the old docks. With any luck, Roland is holed up in one of these places, and you can put an end to all of this. Reward one check mark. That's cool. That is cool. And two new locations. We have options. We have seen options. We have the sunken tumor at D2 and the hidden tumor at C4. All right, I did only kill one bad guy. I got Deanna to do all the work, so I was a pacifist. So that's one check, plus another check. You have pencils? We didn't grab them ahead of time? Yeah, they're right here. That is going to give me so a perk. mine was open a door and end your same turn in the revealed room. Yep. It was, you made me do it? Yeah. Still oh, count? I... Because you No, it's your here. move. You moved. I would think that counts. All right, I hope so. doesn't say open like a that. door on your turn. Yeah. You did end your turn in the new room. All right, fair. I sure hope that counts, because that's why I went through and started getting odd on. Check marks. Okay, we, and do that you have a pencil that cure. works? I'm done with that. This one doesn't seem to have any grip. It's like everything, the, the lead's just sliding back in. Whatever, just get back to me. I just treat you. I'm trying to put the lead back in. Because I so. thought it was just a little tiny piece of lead. That's why it was sliding back in. Yeah. All right, so we'll have to get a perk. So the XP is, what, six? Is that right? I don't know. Six don't every scenario. Tell me. That sounds right. I think it's six person area. Six at level Unless one. Unless it gives us bonus. I don't know where that chart is. There's a chart. I don't know where the chart is. And gold is worth We seven. don't have a book that tells us exactly what to do here. So. Oh, no. no level bad, one is do. six bonus experience. Gold are worth two each. So six plus ten is 16 XP, which puts me to 89. Six XP. And then we have yeah, six and six is 12. It's going to be um, gold. I got three, so six gold. I could possibly actually buy something now. 18. I have 80 XP. Are we going to buy our perk now or do the city event first? Yeah, I don't get a perk. I don't have enough. Oh, okay. I get a perk. Yeah. I'll do my perk quick, and then we will do the city event, which we do at the end when returning to Gloomhaven. Um I think I am again going to replace a plus zero card with a plus one dark. Hmm. Where do I get rid of a minus one with a plus zero heal one ally card? Only heals one. Hmm. Choices, choices. I could remove my minus two as well. What is this choice you speak of? I can't Who decide. Cursing so nice too, right? It is. I like when you curse. But I don't curse. Deck. I don't attack as often. You attack more than I do, right? That's where I'm like, yeah. So I want a plus one curse, a plus one make it dark, or a get rid of a minus one and get a plus zero with a heal. But the heal would have to be a chance. Getting the minus one zone seems good in general. Yeah, let me grab my deck quick. Speaking of which, make sure you don't have any... Bonus cards in your deck before you put it away. Let me see what the heal says. Does Less it have a range listed on it? Or 
stuff. It says plus one health ally. Is that adjacent? Or just like any, any ally, ally just gets a health? Just can't be you? But it'll get rid of the poisons is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Because I can poison you and this would get rid of it mm -hmm. when I attack. Oh, it doesn't do damage though. It's yeah, just it heal. Just it's not heals. an attack and. Yep. So there's instead. another one. Hold on, hold on. Because there's also this. Oh. Hmm. It's plus one. It, that's damage and heals now. Oh, this is a plus zero and heal one ally. So even though it doesn't show plus zero, it's a plus zero. So I it's still you. hit. Yep. All right, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this heal ally and remove a minus one from my deck. Goodbye, minus one. Go in there. I don't think I... Oh, yeah, I do have a bless. I do a bless. This one definitely took longer. Yeah, but I don't know. It felt like we played it slowly. I did. It felt like we played slow. This is removed. So another change in Jaws of the Lion is everyone has their own decks. Instead of a one, two, three, four deck. Got a mark off that I took that. Which with four characters, it's the same difference, really. Alright, we have a city event about to happen. New wanted posters are going up around town, featuring someone that looks strangely like one of your party members. Hmm. If you need to reposition their nose a bit, maybe throw a hood over their head, you could probably collect on the 15 gold bounty. After a bit of banter, you all agreed that would be crazy. Even if you convinced the guards your party member was the crook and got the bounty, They'd have to escape from jail afterwards. Certainly it wouldn't be worth it. Just crazy talk between good friends, eh? Right? No way? No how? These buddies? Thick as? Do we call for the guards? Or do we call for the guards loudly? Well, it's either call for the guards or call for the guards loudly. Yes. Oh, you're the one that's going to jail. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking loudly. Yeah. If you're gonna do I don't know. Or do we do it normal? I don't know. We're, we're turning in a party member either way. Oh, boy. Um, it's, if you're going to do it, do it right. Loudly? Yeah. Despite your friend's protest, the guards arrest them. You collect the reward and make your friend pay their own bail. You'll be laughing about this prank for years, most of you at least. So who's losing five gold so everyone else can gain 15? Well, there's only two of us. And you look good in a hood. I don't know what that means. Wow, we picked the better answer here. If we had called softly, it wouldn't have been good. Yeah, you call for the guards and attack to frame your friend. You can't keep a straight face long enough to seal the deal. And so on. Alright, so I lose 5 gold, you gain 15. Remember that next time. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It looked right just like you. Guess I'm not going shopping. Alright, we're done. Except for cleanup, which we're not going to make you watch. So, that is the end of scenario six of <laughs> Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion Corrupted Research. So, anyway, that was it for uh, scenario six. Definitely a lot of slower this time. Though we fought enemies, we didn't have to, but yeah, it, it seems the logical we way to do it. Push through, but the way that this was blocked off, if we had more jumps, it might have been different. No one can see what you're doing down there. Yeah, well, it was blocked off because the tumors were obstacles, all the bookcases everywhere. Kind of had to do it that way. Yeah. Unless you jumped, and I don't have any jumps. So, we did unlock two ways to go. So, what we need to do is figure out where we're going next week. So I don't know how we can do that. I'm thinking we may try to get our chat room on Twitch to pick. Yeah. So we can prep for both. So if you join us next week, or if whenever we go next, live next at 8.30 p.m. New York, Toronto time, we will be playing the next scenario, which we don't know which one it's going to be. It's going to be either Sunken Tumor or Hidden Tumor. I want to do the hidden one. You want to do the, the hidden tumor? Yeah, that's my vote. All right. She wants to go to the warehouse, but we'll let our chat room vote. 
on which of the two we are going to go to. Um, what I might try to do is try to get, there's a, a certain plugin where you guys can click on the, you folk can click on the screen to show which option you'd like. Yeah, and like, I'd see like, click on me for one or click on Deanna for the other. Though I don't know how that's going to look in Streamlabs, so how I'll see it. Mm -hmm. But maybe we'll try that out. We'll see. Um, other than that, you know, any thoughts on this particular one? It's annoying bad guys. It was okay. Um, the rats doing damage when they blow up was just kind of annoying. The the black sludge doing the healing thing was interesting. That could be really interesting at higher levels with them. Uh, if it got more powerful, yes. Yeah. Just sucking damage out of you regardless of how far away you are or line of sight or anything. And that's unique that they didn't need line of sight. I don't mm -hmm. remember seeing they anything They needed else. line of sight. They just didn't have range. Oh, yeah. No range. They didn't need that's range. Zero range. All range. Infinite range. I'm really surprised by how different the maps have been with having using the, the extra book. Mm -hmm. That this one was particularly long. Yeah, get cool shapes. Neat you get some interesting shapes. The obstacles, I find, I don't stick out as much. So it's, it's still easy enough to tell where they are. Alrighty, so I think that's about it for tonight. Uh, you can find more of our uh, gaming content at tabletopbellhop.com. What I would love to add to this setup is a second camera. Uh, so you can see us while we're playing. So instead of just listening to us debate our cards, you can see us thinking and looking at cards and that. So we're hoping to get that upgrade done at some point. If you want to help out with that, you can head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and tip your bellhop. Um, if this is a, you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook or whatever, it'd be awesome if you hit the like, thumbs up, heart, whatever platform you happen to see us on. That greatly helps more people find our content. If you're on YouTube, it'd be awesome if you hit subscribe. Even better if you ding the bell. Um, for Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. And I'm Deanna. Good night and game, game on. on.